Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome to our today's analysis. Now, if there is any day that you have been waiting for to confirm that um, definitely things are not in order in the government of William Ruto, then today would be a very appropriate day to confirm that. Because it has dawned on William Ruto that there is a lot of incompetence in his government. The people that he brought forth to handle serious dockets are kind of letting him down. And today, he noted it and gone very public with them and declared stern warnings to them. In fact, for the specific ones who came late to his meeting, definitely received a review. We have a job because we have a contract. If you cannot keep time with your employer, you have basically dismissed yourself. I mean, it's just as uh, simple as that. So, for those who came late, who are members of the executive, I will be expecting a written explanation, and it should not include matters of traffic. So that tells you, today, he kind of had swallowed enough, and he was supposed to release a bombshell on them, and to set things going forward straight or try to make everything in line. You know, there is this one time when I was listening to one of these analysts and he was saying that the kind of people that William Ruto brought on board to head the ministries would in the long run prove ineptitude in the entire government's realm of operation. And as a matter of fact, they have really confirmed that. And, you know, there is also that leak which has been going around that um, there is kind of an intended reshuffle in the government setting, like, you know, at the, in the ministries. We are looking forward to just some few days and we might see a, a complete reshuffle of the government ministries, you know, in the heads and, and everything. And they were supposed to release a new chapter from August 1st in as far as how they are supposed to be performing and how they are supposed to be running their dockets. In fact, somebody was saying that some two elements were attached, and I just want to preempt their names. That is Moses Kuria and Kiture Kindiki. So you know Kiture Kindiki is holding the very, very strategic docket that William Ruto cannot easily mess up with, even if it is reshuffling then he must think twice before he gets Kituri Kindiki out of that docket. You also talk of Moses Kuria. The docket he is holding is so crucial, so critical. Leave alone the kind of political alienation that these two have for William Ruto. Look at the dockets themselves. They're very critical. When William Ruto wants to reshuffle them, he must think twice. First of all, he must think of the political implication. And then he must also think of the, the, the futuristic dimension that they will take. Look at Kiture Kindiki. Imagine William Ruto um, demotes Kiture Kindiki or just, um, you know, replaces him. What do you think is going to happen? It holds political significance. If you look at the history that Kiture Kindiki had with William Ruto, especially when, um, you know, we were seeing the campaigns and everything, definitely Kiture Kindiki can be termed as the untouchable. Look at the same thing applying to Moses Kuria, the untouchable, the political implication at it, so, so much immense. Now, when you look at the professional basis of these two dockets, you realize that uh, the way Kiture Kindiki has been handling the security sector, we have had a divided attention in the government setup on how security should be enhanced and especially to be pinpointing on the exact thing the kind of hierarchy under which the orders are supposed to be given. And especially this was seen when we are having the Azimir's demonstration. There was a time when information was not very much streamlined. The orders were not streamlined. The security docket was not in harmony on how the orders are channeled. And it actually went to an extent of jumbling up everything that is taking place in as far as curbing the Zimio's demonstrations were concerned. So the professionalism that is in 
the Ministry of Internal Affairs is also key. If William Ruto is supposed to bring a reshuffle in that docket and not touching on the political aspect of it and going the professional way, then I see kind of uh, some elements who are working with Kituri Kendiki are going to be touched. And when they are touched, you know, there must be those elements that are not politically significant, but elements that can have impact on the professionalism of the ministry. So in the event we have a talk, in the event we have this dialogue coming into its fruition, and then we see some modifications, and these two gentlemen work together, Raila and Ruto, then we might even see some of the professionals brought on board to spice up the manner in which the professionalism of the ministry can be enhanced at the end. Now, if you look at Moses Kuria's docket, the ministry in terms of its professionalism, you realize that it might be very cumbersome. And if he is supposed to bring in new blood, then it, it, it will not actually show up um, steadily enough like the Ministry of Internal Affairs, you know. Um, for Moses Kuria, I don't see William Bruto going to touch it per se. I don't see major effect that is going to take place. But what just came out today, I realized that sometimes, even if you are friends with your boss, to the extent that you run how they give out their lineup and their duties and everything in governance, sometimes the boss feels that friendship should be separated from work. And this is very obvious. And I see William Ruto going to have sleepless nights on how things can be streamlined. For one time, I saw William Ruto giving straight orders that are very, very much supposed to be seen. There, there, there was uh, one lady in one of the roads departments, corrupt to the core. to the extent that she could not be transferred by anybody, even by the minister, because if she was transferred, she will go to court, buy the court process, and make sure that she's returned. That is the kind of chronic where corruption has taken us. I hope Mr. Kipchumba Murkomen and uh, Buanambogwa. I hope that lady no longer works for the government of Kenya. After all said and done, we must also go back to the realization that William Ruto is a shrewd politician. William Ruto knows how to appear to the public. He knows how to set up his image to appear as white as the lamb. But behind the scenes, after showing us that image, definitely, they go back. And as we always say in politics, the forest is the same, and the monkeys are the same same. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? What do you have from your side? The ineptitude, the incompetence in government has really dawned on William Booth. And there is nothing he can do about it for now, except that the reshuffling that is coming, he must think twice before touching some key elements on the basis of political angle and the basis of professionalism. What do you have from my side? Let me hear from you, let me get from you and, and meet in the next analysis. May you have a great time.